Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Tales of Asperia. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop back down here for a second, see if there's anything to find down here. I don't think so. Looks like the assassins have uh, wandered off as well. Let's not talk to you just yet. We can wander around town, look for some things. Game? Game, there's a kitty over there and I can't talk to the kitty. Wanted, vicious fugitive at large, dressed in black with front buttons open, male, long black hair. If seen, contact the Imperial Knights at once. See, look guys, I'm in disguise. In fact, I can go even further into disguise. There, see? See? I even have a, a, a fake mustache now. There we go. No one will suspect me. It's interesting that some of the uh, outfits allow you to uh, do that and others don't. I don't think I want to go there yet. Nah, I'll go back to uh, school uniform. There we go. We'll play with some of them for a while. It's more fun that way. We're not in business right now because the magistrate gets a percentage of by way of taxes. I'm really sorry. It's such a good spot, so I'm staying here. I'll set up shop here one day. So in other words, um, you have decided that to... Because... Uh, uh, the magistrate gets a percentage in taxes, you're just not going to sell anything. Um, now, you're not saying that, that he's getting a too high a percentage in taxes. You're just saying he's getting taxes. I think we're going to need to have a, uh, a talk about uh, uh, economics with you, sir. I heard a metallic sound behind the alley. I couldn't see anything because it was dark. I thought someone was being murdered. I guess something like that is not rare in this city. You... you... came out from that alley? I never thought you would be stealing because you couldn't pay taxes. I'm not stealing. Oh, hey! Oh, Surveyor's Guild. World Cellar. Uh, not who I thought it was. Oh, no, it is Kozakura. Good day. Do you want to know about synthesizing? Sure. What are today's suggested synthesis? Scarf plus one. Uh, which does require an aphid. I've got that. Backstep and XP share. Made from the wool of sheep living in an area with dense air. Keeps you very warm. Sunglasses. Uh, shell, long needle, jet blank, ink. You'll look tough with these on. Feels just like being a grown-up. Huh. Uh, attack rings, power light, and basilisk scale. Well, we did already get one of these, so I don't know that I'll make one. Great axe plus one. I think we have that already. Yeah, I think we have these others. Casual ear grabber. I think that's the same. Hey, Fortune's Market. Welcome, have a look at our wares. Well, I need more of these. Hey, now I can buy Panacea bottles. Let's buy ten of those. Some life bottles. I suppose I don't need quite so many. A simple mat used when camping outdoors restores 25% of max hit points and TP. Let's see, we've got a chain already. We've got a stiletto already, a kogarashi, we've got heavy maul, I don't believe we have that. Morning star, I don't believe we have that. And we've got the Francisca already. Armored helmet, I've got one of those, but I'll get another one. Bronze circlet, I think that's better than the iron circlet, so I'll buy another one. Uh, get some uh, mail, breast guard, don't know if that's better, but it probably is silk cloak. 
thief's jacket. Get one of each of those. The talisman increases physical defense by 5%. We'll get one of those for now. Get more beef, get more mackerel, get some salmon, get more onions, get a lot of peaches, get a lot of apples, get a lot of rice, get more bread, get some milk, dried seaweed. We do not have eggs. So I'm not going to be able to uh, make more um, thingies, uh, sandwiches for a little while. But yeah, I mean, that's only 10% uh, of my uh, current income, right? And I forgot to actually hit the buy buttons. Well, that was dumb. buy all the food. I don't think there's an option to just, like, max out. I think you actually do have to go over. At least, I haven't found anything. Feel free to let me know if that's the case. There we go. And synthesis. <sighs> Alright, we can now uh, synthesize pineapple gels. Gummy type medicine restores 60% of max TP. Don't let the fiber get stuck in your teeth. Ew, yuck. It's kind of gross. Wood mall plus one. Not sure if we have that or not. I'm going to hold off on some of these until I get the people in my party again. Alright, the attack ring. Yeah, we only have the one power light. Not sure if we'll get more. I imagine we will, but... Uh, Half-frame glasses. Uh, they make you look a bit smarter, but are definitely a pain to wear in battle. So these are, we can get access to the, uh, um, the attachments. Um, basilisk scale shells and aphids. Yeah, we got plenty of those, so. There we go. Here's the back door. I got in. Heart. It looks like a man's handwriting. Dice Master's house. I can't actually check it. Now, there is a Wonder Chef somewhere around here. I have not seen him yet. Sure, what uh, object it is, but we're not going to go out to the field map. Hello, welcome to the port of Capua. Capua is divided into Nor to the south and Torum to the north. Why is Nor not in the north? This is the south side, Capua Nor. Nor and Torum are both very spirited towns. However, due to the magistrate. Ah. Yeah, alright. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is the Wonder Chef. Guess you found me. You're pretty good. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Don't hit me with the pan. Learn the recipe for sorbet. I'll give you this so you can practice. Obtain three sets of ingredients for the recipe. I may have already had that. 
gotta go till we meet again. Bye? You're weird. Alright, so Sorbet uh, takes any fruit and milk. A frozen, refreshing dessert made with fruit juice restores some TP. Um, Alright, so we are going to want uh, Yuri to cook this for a while. So I suppose we can do this. There we go. My apologies, the entire wharf is closed off by the Magistrate's orders. I'm afraid I don't know when it will be open. Seems like a really good way to uh, not, uh, not actually be able to run the city. Welcome, or so I'd like to be able to say, the Trino Liner Service isn't operating right now. The Magistrate says he'll sink any ship that sets out. Can you believe that? It's pretty awful. The Trino Liner Service is a sailing guild. Neither wind nor rain can stop our ship, the Stratos. But it isn't too much of a match for the storms. Are you travelers? Watch out. The magistrates in the city are evil. Not only do they take taxes from their citizens... That's not evil! They also make travelers pay. That also isn't evil! My stomach hurts. Oh. Really giving taxes a bad name, lady. Some guy just dragged Estelle right by us. Yeah, that was Flynn. Are they both inside the inn? Yep. So that other guy was Flynn then. Yeah, well. You might not be able to get a word in edgewise if you went in now. Why not? Seemed like they might be in there a while. Wanna burn time walking around town a bit? Oh my. Sure, okay. Looks like they're still in the middle of something. I don't think we should interrupt. Maybe we should come back later. Is that guy with the serious look your friend? Hmm, I guess not. Oh, so you guys aren't going to join me. Alright, fine. I'll go look around town a little bit more. Be that way. You know what, for good measure, I will just make some. Successfully cooked sorbet. Used a peach. So, I'm out of eggs, so I can't make a Salisbury steak. Uh, I'm out of eggs, so I can't make a sandwich. Um, but I do need to uh, keep cooking with the rice ball to get other things. Party is full. There's only one person in the party right now, anyway. Oh, don't, game, don't make me hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. What the hell is a brat like you doing trying to get in here? He's just trying to walk in. Aw, don't throw a hissy fit. Have a bite of this and calm down. Get that out of my face. This isn't the kind of place for kids. Well, I mean, can you really say that any place is not right for kids? Whoa. Oh, don't throw her at me. Mm. That's kind of creepy. That sure is a rough way to treat a child. Who the hell are you? That brat's daddy or something? Does he look old enough? He's even in a school uniform. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like the parent of a kid this big? Time to try again. Oops. Yeah, you, you might not want to, like, impale yourself on a sword. Hey, hey, you really think it's okay to point a weapon at an unarmed child? Well, we don't actually know that she's unarmed. I'm just teaching the brat a lesson about the consequences of breaking adult rules. Just cut it out, okay? Yeah. What, 
What? What are you doing? <coughs> now you've gone and done it. That is really thick smoke, especially in the uh, in this rain. Um, also, it doesn't look like it would smell very good. Hold up! You, you've come this far, and now you're just gonna run away? You need to be prepared if you're going to grab a beautiful young lass's hand. Uh, prepared for what? Prepared? Prepared for what? Sorry, now ain't the time. Uh, what? Farewell! Yuri, I think you need to learn how to grip Juice better. Get back here! How, how do you know she went that way? Damn it. The hell was up with that kid? Hey, buddy, you better get lost, too. What if I don't want you to? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Where well, did that come from, anyway? Done talking by now. Cast off doll. A doll and mysterious girl left behind in her escape. It's surprisingly detailed. What a waste of talent. How was she just carrying that, anyway? I uh, can't do anything with it. Anything over here? Nope. Game, don't put a little cutout like that in if you're not going to give me uh, an item in there. It's rude. Alright, well back to the uh, in we go. And um, those of you who uh, watched the introduction, uh, a little kid may look familiar. Those of you who have played the uh, Xbox version, she may not look familiar. Yeah, we should. Let's go inside. Reunite with Carol, Rita, and Rapide. I feel kind of bad for Rapide just sitting out there in the rain, too. I guess the Empire likes to throw its weight around no matter where you go. Before I left the capital, I didn't know or care about anything besides the lower quarter. It's not everywhere, but I feel like the Empire's influence is especially strong on Elikia. They can do whatever they want since there aren't any major guilds on Elikia. We can't just let it stay this way. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, democracy. It seems it doesn't matter how much money I have, no ships are leaving, and that's that. I've made my peace with it. Without experiences like this, it's impossible to find out how the common folk live. Gee, thanks, lady. Traveling as I normally do, I'd never have the chance at such an important experience. <laughs> Let's just take it easy, eh? Life is short. It should be spent in comfort. I'm not scared of the magistrate. I'm a noble. I've got money to burn. Ah, but you people might be poor. Forgive me. Ha 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 ha. It's the unexpected that makes travel so rewarding. If you think about it like that, it's really quite wonderful. Under normal circumstances, under normal circumstances, I'd never be staying in such accommodations. But now I might even start feeling attached to it. Um, lady, for being a noble, uh, you uh, you, you missed a, a seat in there. Don't you agree? You must, otherwise you wouldn't have set foot inside this inn. Do do I look like a noble to you? I tell you, this is one mean world. <laughs> I guess it's not much of a welcome. Anyway, want to stay? It's 300 gold a night. Not right now. Thank you. Come again. It's locked. Knock, knock. I'm coming in. All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? Probably not. I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. Yeah, wasn't it cool? First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Okay. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. You, you kind of express your gratitude on a regular basis, Estelle. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Oh? Hmm? 
Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. Well, yeah, but you can arrest me, like, after we've finished fighting the final boss of the game, right? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. <sighs> Estelle. Also, that very dark painting in the uh, middle of the room right behind her is a uh, painting of the Capitol. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. I, I can pay a gold and um, a fine. Would that work for you? Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia core? That's what you wanted to say, right? Pretty much. Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance! Do you think it's all right for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Yes? Who's that? Got me. <laughs> huh, whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second in command, Sodia. Mmm. What flavor soda are you? This is Witcher. A mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. Why did you take your name after a series of games and books? This is my... You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! How can you possibly recognize me from that poster and given my uh, different appearance? At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! It's all just a misunderstanding. Really. I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. Alright, two gold and fine. I, I'll be happy to pay that. My, my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. So we're done here, right? Well, not quite. We need to hear, we need to, you know, eavesdrop on this report. I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable, but this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. The Aqua Blastia! I've never heard anything about a blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The Aquiblastia. The ruins. It couldn't be. It could. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, though. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. Why would you do that? I mean... If, if the weather's really bad and they shouldn't be leaving because it's dangerous, then you can just let them go and, and take the risk. Unless, of course, there's some other ulterior motive and the, the weather is just to, a cover for something, which is what I'm guessing at the moment. I don't remember. So much for crossing over to Torum. Ah, we'll, we'll clean up the mess here. After all, this is an RPG. That's what we have to do. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgoro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel. And stupid. That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child. What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Uh... Not sure that that's the right response, Yuri. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us, and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Who the what now? Missing person? You're you're not gonna you're not gonna tell me. Can we go back in? 
we can. Hello. Turning down an Imperial request to run around with these people. Is she trying to ruin Ospio's reputation? Who would have thought someone with a 10,000 gold bounty on his head would be a friend of Flynn's? And Sir Flynn, too. Well, it's a pretty new bounty. Come on. It's also not really all that much. The crime must be punished. Justice shall be served. Even though you know this, you still did what you did. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes you gotta break the law. Especially when they're unjust laws. Alright, fine. We'll stay at the inn. Yeah, we'll stay. Thank you, come again. Alright, and, uh... It's probably a good time to uh, call it an episode. When we come back next time... Uh, we'll go ahead and see what we can do about, uh... The mess that, uh, the, uh, clearly evil magistrate has created for this town. See you next time, everyone.